Hey, welcome to another episode of Rogue Tech. So we've shifted planets. We were at uh, back LU a little while ago. We just pulled off a mission there for some sea bills. And while I was repairing my Max, I decided to move over to Islington uh, for a couple of reasons. One, um, it had former Star League presence, which means we might be able to pick up some more gear to be able to fix our Argo. We're almost done fixing the Argo. We only need a couple more things, just some engines and uh, got to get that uh, final pod up and running. It's got a black market, but it's also got uh, a mega city, uh, moderate population and stuff here too. So there's opportunity for doing some good work here. So we need to do a couple things today. One, I think what I want to do is we're going to go to the mech bay. We're going to bring a couple mechs forward. Um, we're not going to bring them all forward just yet because we don't really have a full set of gear to really outfit these guys. Uh, I had a look at the hiring hall here and there isn't really anybody we want right now. Um, there's a couple of nobles here. This guy wants 60,000 a month. Um, this guy's a commoner, but he wants 22,000 and Starlight here wants 37,000. So, uh, and she's also a noble. So we're not really going to hire anybody here on this planet, but what we will do is prepare a couple of the mechs because we will be shifting off of here very shortly. So we're going to bring a couple mechs forward today. We're going to go into storage. We're going to bring forward our, um, butcher. Let's go to the light mechs here. Actually, medium max because the butcher's a medium, and we're going to bring forward our butcher. So let's ready that mech, and that'll take a day to bring forward. And then we're also going to go to storage, and we're going to bring forward another light mech. We are going to bring forward, planning on using the spider. We're also planning on using the Panther 9L and the fire starter. So we're going to bring the fire starter forward uh, because I know what the layout for this guy is going to be. So we're just going to ready him as well. Okay, so we're going to manage our tasks. Hunchback's going to stay back here. Uh, where are you? Here we go. And we're bringing these two forward, so we should be able to get those in a day. So let's go to the Argo real quick. Move forward a day. There we go. So let's go to the mech bays. So I have a couple of... Um, let's start off with the... Um, let's go with the fire starter first because we know how we're going to lay that guy out. So let's refit this guy. So we're going to kind of go with the original configuration on this mech. Uh, with the triple plus flamers. He's got increased heat output on the flamers, which is excellent. So let's go equipment real quick and we're going to get our... Um, can we get... I think it's just lower actuators in this guy, right? Right. So we're going to put those in. Um, we want to include as a cockpit, a DNI cockpit. I want to lower the damage this guy takes because he's going to be in close. So we're going to put that in. Uh, we're going to put in, I think, the ferrofibers, and we're going to go down and put in some endo steel. Uh, we're also going to put an XL gyro in this guy, I think. Um, endo steel, we want to give him as much as we can. I'm going to add triple strength Myomars. Actually, first of all, let's max out his armor. Definitely need to do that. We can take one off the back center torso and a couple off the front center torso. There we go. Uh, now this guy had a mask before, which um, increased the sprinting distance everything, but increased, increased the heat output from the uh, weapons by 20%. We're not going to go that route this time. Um, as much as I'd like to, we're not going to quite do that. I think I'm going to drop a Fusion Core 200 into him to start. See how this works out. Now engine, we've got a light engine here which we can drop in. We're at, at, we've got plenty of space here, so let's pull out the 200. Uh, and let's drop in 260 maybe. That'll give us lots of speed. We got lots of tonnage for weapons, so I'm not worried about that. So let's go to our weapons here. I'm gonna go to laser weapons. And we've got four triple plus flamers, so we're gonna drop four in. One, two, three, four. And what we'll do, I think, probably is drop one of these flamers in the center torso, and I wanna drop the vehicle flamer in here as well. Uh, we really want to get some barbecuing going with this guy, so we're going to do that. And I think or the original build on this, I think, had a tag, but I think we can drop in a narc beacon on this guy. We've got plenty of uh, tonnage and space, so let's drop a narc beacon in, and let's drop in maybe a haywire as well. We've got to take half a ton out of this guy, so it's not so bad. We've still got some good speed. We've got, if we go to equipment here, we've got the triple strength Myomars too. Um, I think we may want to add some heat sinking, so maybe we, let's try, let's add these in so we get a little bit of extra sprint dis distance, 6%, a little bit of melee attack. Let's pull out the vehicle flamer for now and leave the three triple plus flamers in. we got a ton and a half. 
do we have we don't have I was hoping we had a um, a uh, double heat sink but we don't so just dropping a regular heat sink in we can take off half a ton of armor do we want to do that I don't think we do so let's decide then maybe we switch out the narc beacon we can add that on somebody else let's go to the weapon systems again let's add a tag I think we have a tag left here over here we do so that gives us a little bit to play with let's go to equipment I want to add those heat, these heat sinks in here I know these flamers don't generate a lot of heat but I want to make sure what the heat output is going to be here for the first battle or so and if it is really going to be overheating or whatever maybe we switch one of these flamers out for the uh, the other flamer that we have and let's go to weapons real quick because I know the last half a ton we can put the clan flamer in we'll drop that in the center torso we might not use it all the time but it'll be there if we need it so this guy's kind of a close range mech um, good speed on him 200 or 325 um, kilometers an hour and yeah so we're going to confirm this guy so that's not bad 61,000 not bad to outfit this guy out right. and now we're going to go to the Vindicator so the Vindicator is our command mech and what we're going to do with this guy since he's really going to be standing back firing uh, let's go to equipment here real quick we're going to add um, the feral virus because we've got it we're going to add the breaching shot uh, clan cockpit with the sensors and sight distance our last XL engine is going to go in we're going to put in our last XL gyro and we're going to put in some endo steel so now we've got some space to work with so let's go back up to the top now we don't have a uh, like this won't take an upper armor just take a, a uh, lower arm so we're gonna have to go buy one so let's check the store real quick I think we should be able to get just a lower arm here so equipment arm lower 57,000 eh, killing me here but we need it so we're buying it all right lower arm in there so now we can choose ballistic uh, arm mount or laser arm mount so we do have a couple of good laser weapons if we want to use this guy as a long-range boat actually before I do this we should decide on how fast we want to make this guy so let's grab we don't need to be really fast I think with this guy so let's grab this yeah let's do it that way and let's pull hmm should we max out the armor I think we probably should too just to see what we got here yeah I'll pull one off to center back just so that he's he's uh, well outfitted for any missions that we're going to be going into so we can slug it out so let's go to our weapons so we've got a couple choices. We could go with an AC-20, triple plus, plus, plus 20 damage times 2 stability damage. This thing could be a wrecker. Um, or, you know, actually that's not a bad idea. The other thing we could do is go with an Ultra-20, 16 tons, as opposed to 14, but this needs a lot more ammo, the Ultra-20. So we could get away with probably 2 tons on the AC-20. The regular AC-20. I wish I had one that had increased range. But we can use the AC-20 precision ammo as well with our regular AC-20. Which we can't do with anything else. So maybe we try that. It would be a kind of an interesting build with this guy. We might be able to increase the engine on it. But what would, it, what would it be our secondary weapons? That's the question. So let's drop the AC-20 in for now. And then let's go down. We're going to buy... Let's go to the store. We should be able to buy AC-20 precision ammo. All right, there we go. So, weapons, ballistic, ammo, AC-20, precision. There we go. Let's buy that. New equipment available. So that's definitely going to help. Um, so let's grab our ammo here. And we'll grab our precision ammo and drop it in. We will grab a regular AC-20. So I think we will go with just, mm, I don't know, 10 shots? Probably. If we're fighting mostly lighter guys, I don't think we really need to go beyond that. Yeah, I think we'll leave it that way. And then what we'll do, if we go to equipment real quick, do we have, I don't think we have any targeting computers left over. No, we don't. We do need two heat sinks for the engine though, so let's drop those in. 
they don't add any weight and then let's go is there anything else here we can use got the cockpit in already nothing really else so if we go back to weapons what are our secondary weapons going to be probably i guess it has to be laser we could add missile weapons is there anything amazing missile wise that'll keep us within relatively good heat heat is 15 on these guys that's seven tons though so that's going to eat up all of our space lrm5 yeah not really worth it srm4 maybe it's only two tons though could add a pair of srm4s and some srm dead fire ammo hmm that would make this guy a close in boat we weren't planning on doing that but that's eight heat each we need to add a couple of heat sinks for sure so that's two four five for the ammo five tons and then two heat sinks would be seven that would put 45 and a half or 44 and a half tons hmm and then that would be it the other thing we could do is just go with medium lasers do we have anything interesting laser wise we got pulse lasers but then we need a lot of heat sinks small pulse not really we got ER mediums but so I'm thinking probably let's go with the SRM4 build we got SRM4 dead fire ammo we have to be really close with this minus two accuracy with short range missiles hmm we're not going to be hitting much with these guys then if we do that but if we just go with SRM 4s with accuracy ammo instead that's another option if we put one on each side and then we do SRM do we have accuracy ammo with SRMs let's check the store alright let's have a look here I thought SRMs had accuracy ammo, but maybe I'm wrong. Yeah. Plus one accuracy. Let's buy this. New equipment available. God, I'm spending more money on buying gear than I am outfitting these friggin' mechs here. So let's add that to the leg. So that's... Yeah, that's not bad. That's going to give us, what, this is 100 rounds, right? Oh, it's only 60 rounds. Oh, okay. That's like seven and a half turns of firing. Hmm. The other thing, I guess, well, if we go the streaks, though, it's going to be... Jeez, it's, the heat's going to go way up if we put two of them in. I guess we could drop the SRM4 and go with an SRM2 and we'd have lots of turns of ran uh, lots of rounds of firing. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe we let's abandon the SRM idea for now. Let's go back to the laser idea. Let's just drop in some medium lasers, I'm thinking. We can put two in the other arm over here. Definitely going to need heat sinks now. So let's go back to equipment. Find out what we've got heat sinking wise. we got tons of heat sinks. So let's just drop a bunch in here. One, two. Let's drop four to start. So what's our heat sinking now? 42. Alpha strike is 40. So if we add maybe a small laser. Do we have? What do we have? We have... Hmm, the LRM-5 is half a ton, isn't it? No, it's one ton. Shoot. I don't have half loads of missile ammo, unfortunately. Do we have anything here that we could throw in? No. Um, so yeah, maybe there's the small laser then. Small pulse is way too much, so just a small laser. Let's just drop that in here with the AC-20, and then we'll put one more heat sink in. And that'll be it for this build for now. I'm interested to see how this AC-20 is going to work. I'm not convinced it's probably the best loadout. Warning, we are out of slots. Correct. Now what? Um, hmm.
I know what. We lose this arm and we go with actually this fusion core weighs how much? Six and a half. Let's put that arm back. Um, that's a what? This is nine and a half. I don't have anything in between unfortunately. So we'll just have, well the light engine is going to change the weight of this. Right? No. It does not. Because it's already calculated probably. No, that's correct. Okay, so yeah. Hmm. Wait, what just happened here? Why is it all of a sudden to gain space? Oh, right. Dur. All right, let's go to the store again. And we're going to buy another lower arm. Let's go to equipment. God, why am I buying lower arm actuators? I know why for space. There we go. All right. And then one more heat sink. Drop it here. So that does it. And, you know, I mean, we're not perfect heat sinking, but that small laser is not going to be flying all the time. Be every once in a while. So I think this is probably a good command. Uh, mech to start with. The fact that it's got a breacher in this AC-20 will be able to breach if someone's hiding in the trees will just be able to smash them without a problem. Uh, so let's confirm this build. That's going to be a while, 16 days. Nice. So in the interim, now we've got those being built, uh, we're going to pull off a quick mission here. So let's go to the command center. I'm going to go to our contracts. We're going to do a mixed lands mission here. And we're going to do uh, capturing production. We're going to pull a raid on the uh, Marion Hegemony here and attack an old manufacturing facility and see if we can get some parts for our um, Argo. And we're going to negotiate this one out. The last time we did this, we were able to get some pretty good stuff. Um, but I'm thinking, yeah, I'm. Th uh, should we go for a million? Let's just go for the cash. Although, you know what? I got a feeling that there might be something good there. So let's not quite go for the for all the money. We can afford to lose a couple hundred thousand to get a chance to get some stuff that we might be able to use on our new light mechs. So let's accept this. And we're going to run it straight out this, the same lance that we ran last time. Um, actually, you know what? We got this griffin here. Let's take Jasper out all of a sudden. We're going to put wolf, uh, height back in the Wolverine. Let's bring the griffin in because we got it up and running now. And let's get Vane Skater in on the griffin. And I want to see how this thing performs. So let's deploy and get this done. All right, here we go. Four mechs on the ground. So we should be able to pull this off relatively quickly. It'll be smash the mechs out in front, take the base, and then there might be another lance after that, but we'll see how it goes. All right. Bring in the heavy guy first. Oh, we can see them right off the bat. Ooh. Dude. Caught you with your pants down. Here comes the missiles. Yeah, you better move, dude. What? Alright. Don't move. That's fine. Let's, move. Let's find out how well this heavy Gauss rifle does. I'm interested to see what kind of heat we're generating. Almost nothing on this guy. Excellent. So here comes the big Gauss rifle. Copy that. Nice. Push back to turn one, eh? On that one. Well, you're dead meat, buddy. All right, let's get you in here. So height's gonna open up on this guy. Let's see if we can take him down fast. ATMs firing everything. Some of them are firing in the building, I guess. But uh, somebody got a little excited. So there's a knockdown. Yeah. All right, Flatliner. Let's get into here. No shooting. Just run. Yeah, we're going to shoot for his head. Just going to fire the missiles. He's going to die, probably. He's got 48 in the CT, but let's see if we can take his head off with missiles. 
That would be an amazing feat. Yeah, goodbye. All right, that guy's gone. So my goal for the remaining two mechs that we're going to be bringing forward... Ooh, 65 tonner, nice. 50 tonner and a 60. My goal for the other two mechs, we're going to bring the Venom forward and the Panther 9L. So the Venom is going to be our highly maneuverable mech. I think I'm going to put uh, plasma lances on it and have it jump over and attack mechs from behind. And then the other person that we're going to have um, in the 9L, we're going to use him as a precision. Uh, I want to use him to take legs off and things like that. But, you know, that lance is mostly going to be going for money. So I'm not really that worried about um, saving mechs. So it's mostly going to be just inflicting as much damage as possible. All right, see what they do here. Yeah, you're thinking twice, aren't you, buddy? Yeah, you fortify over there all you want. It's not going to save you. All right, let's see what we can do now that that guy's moved. Let's see what we can do with the... Uh, Gosh, now he's... Hmm, that's a fair distance away. 29%. Interesting. Let's fire the Goss, see if oh, we can yeah. hit. Wow. Okay, so... The miss chances are still that bad, eh? Negative damage. Yeah, we need to get you some targeting computers, buddy. Uh, Alright, hey, let's get up here. Just keep shooting on him. Fire everything. Yeah, ATM's not doing so well on him, but that's fine. We got some PPCs coming up that are gonna blow this guy apart. So we got a Grand Dragon. So I don't know if that's a Goss and a PPC or if that's a light Goss or what is that? Goss rifle double plus PPC triple plus and an SRM six. Okay, we need to take care of him in a minute. So let's move forward here. Understood. We got a sixty tenner coming in too. Maybe it's a quick draw. We can get quick draw parts and finish off another heavy mech. So let's fire everything on this guy. See if we can get him out of the match right away. Right arm, right torso. That should be a knockdown, probably. Nope. But he's almost done. So this is a quick draw, isn't it? What is this guy? Yeah, quick draw. Alright, so let's go with... Um, Good to go. Who can we attack here? We can attack everybody. Grand Dragon, 64% chance with the Goss, 32. Let's go after the Grand Dragon. This guy's going to move right away. Actually, let's shoot him and let's just finish this guy up. That should be it for him, I think. Yeah. Now we're standing that, buddy. Okay, height. Confirmed. Let's get up over here. Hmm, where do we go now? Let's get up here. Get a little bit of height. Ha 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 ha. That's far on the Grand Dragon. I want to get rid of that PPC and Goss first. Let's fire everything on him. Nice. The tag hit, I think. We can get Flatliner moving. Let's get him up the hill here. little bit out of the way of where they are. We're going to fire everything on him. We're going to include the ER small. Do as much damage to this guy as possible. Some nice leg hits there, though. Did we get the leg? Did we get the leg? Head hit. Knocked down. Nice. Alright, I'm going to target his head. What's this guy doing? Don't punch. Don't punch. Okay. Fine with me. We got three medium mechs going after you and again the next turn, so just hang on. That tickled. That did tickle, buddy. Alright, we're going to move up over here. We're going to block them from getting to yeah. the trebuchet as much as we can. Going to fire on the Grand Dragon. Going to go for a head, see if we can take his head off. Well, we got a head hit on him anyway. He's stressing out now. See what he does. If he, see if he decides to run. Looks like he's still got the Goss rifle left. Or is that the... That's a Goss rifle, I think. No, nope, PPC. Yeah, PPC and SRM6. Doesn't have much ammo left, or uh, armor left. So, let's get... What are we going to do here? 
ready. Flatliner, let's get you back up here. Whatever our chances is better from right here. So we're going to move back up here. We're going to do an offensive push. We're going to fire on that Grand Dragon. I'm going to go for headshots. If we kill him, we kill him. If we don't... Oh, that looked like it might have been a headshot. Lethal damage. Goodbye. Are there none who can stand before me? No one can stand before you. What are your orders, Skipper? Okay, let's get you down behind this guy. Like so. And you will do an offensive push because I want my... Uh, um, Warhammer to go before this guy. And we're going to go for... Ooh, where? Where is everything here? So LRM... Ammo's in the left torso. Right torso's got lasers, some ammo. Jeez, this guy's got ammo everywhere. So let's fire this torso here. Copy that. Here goes the right torso. Good work, Commander. Boom. To the next Excellent. Well, that was quick. Once again, this lance is made to punch it, you know, for four and a half skull missions. So these, you know, um, two and a half skulls, which our lance is roughly rated at. Our lance, I think our lance is two and a half skulls. It, they just don't really offer that much. Um, of a threat value to us right now. Especially with stock mechs, right? They're, they're not really equipped to handle a, a fight with us. Not that I'm tooting my, ho my own horn or anything, but uh, toot toot. Okay, so let's get down here. Alright, and we got one yep. more guy. I don't think we can make it. Oh, we can. Look at that. Excellent. Uh, okay. For I guess they got reinforcements coming in. Holding here. Um, do we kill them too fast? Holding for tactical advantage. Heads up, there we go. We did kill them too fast. 45 tons, 55, 45, and what is the vehicle? A 100 ton vehicle, yikes. So it's probably a demolisher or something crazy like that. Okay, let's get you up here. Where can we see anybody? We can indirect fire him. So let's move um, what are your orders, Skipper? Super Speedy Boy here. Let's get some eyes on, see All what right, we're dealing with here. Move. So we got a butcher, okay, standard butcher. Um, let's leave the ATMs off for now. Let's fire the three medium lasers. Oh, tag hit, nice. That's gonna help out. Let's see what they're gonna do here. Another 45 tonner moving around. LRM five, probably a vindicator. Okay, so I don't think you can really get in to target anybody. So we're going to move to a position where you won't be targeted. So let's move and get into the trees behind the hill here. Rolling. And we're just going to fortify here. Don't want to get into a position where we can be fired upon unless we absolutely have to. So 55 tonner, vein skater. Can you see anybody? I don't think so. Not unless you get into the open where they can see you. You can see that guy, but it's not really... Oh, wait, what's this? Let's move here. We're behind the buildings. That'll save us from the vehicle. And what are our chances to hit here? We're going to leave the Gauss rifle off. Yeah, you know what? we got lots of ammo. Let's fire it. Why not? And pulse lasers. I'm just enjoying the fact that uh, we can fire this guy a, a lot of times and not have to worry about him overheating. All right, and we'll move forward. And we'll do the same thing with this guy. We're going to fire on... The butcher. We're gonna unload with everything. Uh, really good chances to hit with everything, so we just fire without with it all. It's taking little, uh, very little damage, but from what we could be doing, but at least it uh, punishes him a little bit. Next turn, we'll be able to kill this guy, Behemoth. 
indirect fire missiles. Hey, stop destroying this facility. We need to take some stuff out of here. The hell, man. Up armored, too. We gotta check out what that guy's got. Okay, moving up a hill. And a miss. Okay, he's got his stability back. Let's see what this guy's got here. Up armor. Look at the armor on this guy. 314 in the front and turret. Yeah, we can crack that nut. So let's um, wait and go with height first. Actually, you know what? I'm going to reserve. I want to see what they want to do here. See what their two mediums are going to do. So that is a Vindicator double A. This guy is going to die fast. He has half the armor of most Vindicators, so... And what's this guy here? Shadowhawk? Okay. 1R. Stop blowing the buildings up. So the rocket launchers are gone. He's got an AC-5 and a medium laser minus with like almost no armor. And this guy... He's taken some good damage. He's got a little bit of CT left. We can probably finish him up, but he's got a light engine, so uh, it's one of the things I want. What is this guy Behemoth got again? AC-10s, LRMs, and SRMs. This guy doesn't have anything we want. This guy doesn't definitely doesn't have anything we want. So, okay. Let's remove the guys that we don't want first. So let's get rid of this Shadowhawk. He's closest, so he becomes target number one. You're gonna load do this way. I got you. Gonna attempt to burrow through his side here. And we'll get Flatliner out and over. He's gonna attempt to burrow through his side as well. In the range of dead fire ammo, firing everything. Here comes all those missiles. Arm gone. Leg gone. It's going down. I think they're going swimmingly as well. Alright, Advanced Gator, let's move around to this... Oops, no, we want to get over where we can see that guy. Let's go here. Trying to get to a point where that vehicle can't see us. Going to target this guy. Going to go for CT. We're just going to blow him up. The torso gone. No retreat. Not enough to kill him, though. Alright, we're going to move the Warhammer back and over. And we're going to multi-target. So this guy's got 32 left in the center. So we're going to multi-target. Going to fire against him and him. And A, B is going to get... Mm, what do we do here? Let's do that. Aye, aye. If we get a lucky shot on the CT, uh, then we'll kill that Shadow Hawk. Oh, not quite enough. He's dropping a load, though. Here comes our hundred tonner. Okay, he's going the indirect fire route. I'm happy with that. Okay, butcher's coming down. Okay, I'll take the hit. 30 heat, that's fine. I'm taking heat damage. Yeah, I know. Ready for orders. Alright, we're all going before that guy, so let's move over here. Moving to position. And let's just kill this butcher. I think we're probably just gonna end up killing everything here. Welcome to my album. Leg gone, engine gone, goodbye. And I think we're gonna get hmm. Could probably kill this Vindicator this turn. I know I shouldn't be saving that vehicle to last, but uh, that's kind of how it's working out. So height, let's get you up here. We're gonna turn on the Shadow Hawk here, and let's just go with the three medium lasers. How much do we have left in the center here? Two points. Let's just go with the center attack. There we go. So now we have Bane Skater and Ground Zero to go against that Vindicator. Bane Skater should probably be able to take him out. Let's just move back here. 
Don't want to sprint too much, just enough. And 57% chance to hit. We're just going to fire straight on him. Nope. But you can see there that pulse laser penned his armor. He doesn't have much armor there, so... Ground Zero is just going to move over. We should be able to finish him up here. What's our chance to hit? 85? Yeah. Roger that. Can't fire everything, so we're going to leave the pulses and the, the LRMs off. We're just going to fire the two uh, ERPPCs. Okay, he's not having a good day. Main weaponry gone. He's probably got all LRM 5 left, and that's it. Once again, going for indirect fire, but he makes the mistake of turning his side to us. Okay, let's get... Hey there. Rain Skater first. Let's move forward. Get a little closer to this Vindicator. Let's give him a good hello. Oh, I thought that would have killed him. See what he tries to do here. Sure, why not? Okay, hi, you're first. And we're gonna come straight in on this guy. Not worried about the Vindicator right now, he's unstable still. So we're gonna fire everything on the side of this up armored behemoth. Alright, tagged. Now, Flatliner's going to move forward. Getting as close as we can with the dead fire ammo. We want to be able to hit as much as possible. Going to turn off the small. We're going to fire with everything else. Putting up some big numbers. That's it for him. And Ground Zero should be able to finish this guy up. Don't need to move very much, I don't think. Um, she's got left. Yeah, he's done. Fire the two PPCs. That's it. And that would be this mission. Eight up, eight down. And now we could loot some stuff from the factory for our ship. Excellent. Mission successful. Absolutely. All right, there we go. Eight hundred forty-two thousand. That's not bad. Increased payment by 10%, which is excellent. We lost 90000 in the drop cost, but that was fine. We wanted to go down with uh, heavier mechs anyway. We lose a little bit on the drop cost when we do it that way, but we actually plow through everything very, very easy. Almost no damage amongst all our guys. We got a little bit on Flatliner, but for the most part, it was uh, zero damage. 1,000 XP across the board, which is excellent. So we can choose one piece here. There's nothing really that we want. It'd be nice if we got some Grand Dragon parts assigned to us. Uh, AC-10s, no. Flamer, no. Uh, pirate, no. Plasma Cannon. Now, we were planning on putting a Plasma Cannon back on our um, Panther because it's got increased, pan it's got increased, sorry, increased uh, plasma damage. But I'm thinking this PPC for just a little bit more heat, does way more stability, it's one ton more, but it does a lot more damage too. So we're going to take this PPC, I think. I don't think there's really anything else down here that we absolutely have to have. Uh, light Pharaoh, no. Pharaoh Fibrous, we actually still have. Cockpits we could, we could use, but we don't necessarily have to have them. We don't necessarily have to have the light engine right away. Uh, this PPC definitely is going to definitely help that uh, main lance. Heavy Gyro, no. So there's nothing that we absolutely have to have. All right, let's see what we get out of here. So butcher part, uh, two butcher parts, nice. A vindicator part, uh, AC-10, uh, medium laser, no big deal. Oh, what do we got here? At the mining planet Islington, acquiring and, and sorting out the plentiful supplies for mech repairs is an all-hands event. While conferring with Darius, you overhear several mech warriors discussing an unregulated fighting ring run by the local miners and machinists. Animal says loudly, let's show these yokos how real mech warriors fight. Darius raises an eyebrow as if to say, you got this? As you approach the mech warriors, Animal sets her shoulders uh, belligerently as if daring to you to forbid the entertainment. Um, I can either forbid, get, for, forbid them, warn them not to get hurt, 
or order them back to work. I'm going to let them go. Warn them not to get hurt. While acknowledging the pent-up desire for violence, you uh, still lay down the rules. Go ahead, but if you get hurt, I'll finish killing you myself. All but animals suddenly recall pressing business elsewhere. Animal lingers, lost in thought, then with a grumble, finally stomps off to join the others. Oh well. <laughs> I thought that would have been letting them go down there, but whatever. So we lost 10000 on that for repairs, which isn't anything compared to what we made, so... Alright, so that'll be it for today. Uh, once again, a good mission. We're up to 2.333 million sea bills, uh, which is pretty good compared to where we are at the past. Um, we got another financial report coming up, and these mechs are going to be coming back. These are for our light lance, uh, these two down here, and this one here is, is still for our uh, main lances. So um, what I'm going to do before we leave for today, we're going to go to ship upgrades in the engineering department, and we are going to spend... 1.72 actually we can't spend that much if I do that we won't be able to have enough for our financial report so we are going to need to pull off another mission so I'm wondering if I should do one of these first that's a 15 day cost this guy is a 10 day and this one is 15 days so we're going to do we're going to get the refit harness going. It's a 10 day cost plus for plus two tech points. I think this is going to help us out in the long run. We made a lot of money. Going to need it up and running eventually anyway, so let's just do that. That'll help out in the long run. So that's it for the, today's episode. Um, if you like it, drop a like. And if this is the first time watching, please feel free to subscribe. And uh, I'll see you all later.